Today, our family couple, Goals Ali and Wala, they have taken the region's content creators by storm with their YouTube channels, with Instagram, from sharing family milestones, exotic trips, and generally entertaining content that will keep you hooked for hours. We have Ali and Wala Henoi. Welcome, guys, to the show. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you guys for uh, joining us. You're new ish to Dubai, yes. and people already are calling you family goals, they're calling you couple goals. What, what is that like? She's the secret behind everything. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I have to start off Good with this. Start. Of Good course, start. Thank you. Thank you. He has to. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, the secret is just there's no secret. It's just being yourself being us. and having fun, enjoying your time. This is how it all started, by the way, since the beginning. Well, how did it you start? Were fun. <laughs> you were having fun because you're. Um, You make pr- uh, primarily Arabic content, so yeah. we're kind of introducing you guys to our whole audience. Um, but you know, tell us where your roots and tell us also the love story. That's I, what I want to know. Uh, <laughs> so we met in um, 2017 at yes. my cousin's wedding. At my cousin's wedding, and um, yeah, it was like first uh, first. Uh, She, she's like uh, trying to cut, cut it short, <laughs> but like how it started is. We, we were at her cousin's detail. wedding. Oh, we want uh, the details. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a really long story. But uh, to get to the good parts is... When you saw me. When, I, when you saw me. <laughs> no, no, it was the truth. I'm going to say the truth. So it was at her cousin's wedding. And then mm. I was sitting. And I usually hate to go to weddings. And as I was sitting there and I was looking at myself and I was saying, like, why am I here? I hate weddings. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I look to my right and I see this beautiful... girl in, in, a, in a red dress <laughs> and honestly I don't know if, if like people say like, come on Ali it's too much it's not the truth but I kid you not this is the whole truth no I see, way I see her and I say this girl is my wife I don't know her name I don't know if she's with anybody <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about her I'm like that's my wife and I feel wow. it it's a strong feeling deep down inside yeah. and, and fast got, forward we got no, no, no. so how did you approach her ah uh, okay <laughs> after the wedding <laughs> after the wedding yeah. okay so we went for say, for say, a date see what happened what at happened? the wedding ah, at the wedding his mom uh, she came to me <laughs> and she wanted me to dance with him ah. so, <laughs> she, so like, she didn't go ask dance together that. I don't know him I don't know his mom so I was like <laughs> okay I was so shy wow and uh, after the wedding we went out together Did and we got love? to know each other wow. yeah And then we got engaged three months later. Mm-hmm. It was fast. Yeah. But uh, I, I knew he's the one, honestly. Yeah, from like the first sight. <laughs> That's the first time she says that, by no, the way. No, I always tell you, I knew. And so, yeah, thank you, you so know much. when when someone is is um, for you, you know, he's suitable for you, he completes you. Yeah, you know it from the first, uh, maybe first time. Or second time, I don't know. That's so beautiful. Thank you for the show, my friend. I'm so happy this is recorded because I'm going to use this for the rest of my life. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> yes, and we got married uh, in 2019, July 2019. And after like one year and a half, uh, July 6th. <laughs> Um, what an amazing love story. And I think, you know, there's a lot of people looking for love. And I feel like the fact that you could meet someone and know that you find your human. so quickly is so incredible and yeah. I guess your love story lives on on the internet um how yes. did that start and also when did you move to Dubai uh, we moved to Dubai um last year and less November, than one year. November it was 2020. 18 November 2021 okay. 21. and people know you guys uh for your YouTube channel your Instagram channel because you share all these cool family moments When did that start? Because I'm sure content creation, it wasn't part of the relationship yeah, at the beginning, no. <laughs> but it came a little bit later. Yeah. After we got married. It started after. after we got married, during the lockdown. Like we got married in July. We got locked in our houses um, Feb. in February. Mm-hmm. And then she saw a trend on TikTok. And no, she's like, we didn't hear about TikTok. And then we, we, um, from we started. Ki- it was from kids. Yeah. Like everyone was doing We're TikToks. Like, mm-hmm. And then they saw, she saw a trend. And she's like, God, oh, that's Let's funny. Do it. Let's, Let's do have it. Fun. And I'm like, no, nah. it was four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Standard lockdown behavior. Exactly. <laughs> and she's like, Let's just do it. And, and then no one is going to see us. It's TikTok. Exactly. We have zero followers. And like, no one's going to see this video. That's how it started. 
And what, what was that video? Well, you know what <laughs> it's off the internet. <laughs> it's off? It's off the internet. The video that started it? <laughs> by the way, an Arabic song, like, very, how do you say, look? Or... It's, uh, um, it's, um, uh, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, it's they... just like a, a shabi in Arabic, we yeah, call it. But I don't know what's the word in English. I can't find it. Like, it's, it's not in my Arabic word of the day. Yeah. So <laughs> you, know. you should learn it. Shabi. Shabi. But yeah. you don't know what, what does it, it mean. It means like it's, it's for in the streets, from the streets, something yeah. like this. Okay. I, I don't know how to explain it. I really so would it, like, it. would it like a cool... Um, Clip on the on this uh, cool sound. Clip between like brackets and like <laughs> hyper underlined. Got yeah, cool. Yeah. But the, so one video and then it kind of catapults you to fame, um, to the people that follow you. So, but also you've got a lot going on behind the scenes in terms of like you started a family. You're both yeah. working. How do you balance uh, the content creation and careers? <sighs> So uh, I recently, by the way, got my DHA license. I'm a dentist. <laughs> Fashion girl! <laughs> so I'm starting to work soon again. But um, ba- uh, this balance between work, between social media, between my kids, my family, it, it's really, it's, it's very hard. It's not easy. Mm. But you have to, you have to make it happen. Um, and of course, thanks to him, you know, we, we are a team. We complete each other. Um, Sometimes I, I have to do my job. He, he has to take care of our booty and vice versa. And it's, it's fun. It's fun. We look at it it's as... It's tiring, but it's fun. it's fun. You enjoy the content yeah. creation it's side nice. of it. Yeah. Like, it, we'd never... The second we feel like it's forced, we, we will stop. Film. We, we will quit. We don't do anything. Yeah. And how can you keep it... Uh, content creation has this kind of, like, perfect social image, right? So how do you keep it real for your followers? By uh, being yourself? Being as much as possible being ourselves. And this is the, the, like, I love this comment when, yeah. we, when we meet someone on, in, in the street is like, you people are the same people we see on social media. Yeah, no, and we I don't think, that. we don't think that you are the same, but that when, when they meet us, they, they would like, no, you really guys are the same people on Instagram or on TikTok, whatever. So I love this comment a lot. Well, my next question was going to be how, uh, why do you think your content is something that people resonate with? Why do you know there's a lot of people out there trying to you know get strong in the content creation game trying to build their followers you guys have done it why do you think your content kind of stands out um good question very good question <laughs> um okay again like, with, with all respect to all content creators to everyone out there i feel like it's what's unique about us is us like i'm not pretending to be anybody else I'm pretending to be me and I am me and she is her on social media I don't know if that makes sense mm-hmm. but like what's unique is us like nobody can copy us and we we're not copying anybody else mm-hmm. so by staying true to ourselves that's the main um, the main uh, if you want to uh, drive drive and, and goal It's true. So if you had advice for potential content creators out there, uh, what would you tell them? People who are starting, people who are showing their first TikToks? Consistency, being yourself, not listening to what anybody else thinks. You're going to face a lot of hate. You're going to face a lot of negativity. Just do, do what, what you love. You happy and do But what you love. That's so interesting. You know, you said you're going to face a lot of hate and negativity when you are being solely you. Of course. What type of negativity are you facing? You know, again, you you cannot uh, please everyone. Not everyone is. Um, you know, our content is not um, the content that all uh, followers love to see or to watch. All but people. all people. But um, so sometimes yes, you receive uh, like hate and comments or like. Um, and that's the problem with like, and we always have this discussion, and I always try to tell her as much as possible, like. In life, facing adversity is very important. It builds up character. It makes you love yourself. And this goes back to finding true love and like having your, finding your soulmate. How do you find your soulmate? And this is one of the main questions we receive, is loving yourself, loving who you are, and accepting who you are. Despite the maybe like person A doesn't like me, person B hates yeah. me, it's okay. I respect that, but I'm going to love myself. 
And if someone gives me criticism, I'm going to take it to improve what I can do. And if it's like a really hateful comment, it's going to come in from one ear and come out of the other. And that's very important for content creators, for not just content, for everyone to understand that it's okay not to be loved by, by everyone. everyone. Yeah. That's but it's to the most important thing is accepting who you are and loving who you are. That's so strong, 100%. So it's not about um, being pleasing loved everyone. by everyone, pleasing exactly. everyone. And, you, and when you understand that, then you build that thick yes. skin. Is there an element of criticism that comes with being kind of openly affectionate as a couple uh, in the Arab yeah. online world? Yeah. As in like, she's trying Like to PDA, say. like if you're yeah. kind of like, you know, if you're lovey-dovey, do you get yeah. criticism? And how do you respond to that? How, we like, don't we show like a lot of PDA uh, on, on like on social media, but like um, I love my wife. I love her. And Actually, I'm, I'm very like, shy. Here, here so. it is. I like, keep it holding her hand. I, fe- I, I feel shy. power when she's like next to me. I, she's shy. He loves to uh, to show uh, love. Sometimes people um, people like. They say he loves you more than you do. Yeah. But actually, I'm I'm very shy. I'm a very shy person. But I don't love to to show affection in public. Just I, to I, me. <laughs> yeah, but but he's different. He loves to show love. And that's him. Yeah. That's why I love him. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you guys have any advice for you know singles out there who look at your relationship and they you know they they love what you guys have, what would you say to them? Um, True love does exist. Yes, you have to find your uh, your soulmate, your partner. Um, Don't be affected what by what you see on our channel. Yes. Do your own journey. This is your life. Take what you can take from us to build up on your life. Yeah, every so. relationship is different from the other. Exactly. Don't wish your life to be like us or anybody else in the world. Like, well, that's actually exactly what you said in your last comment about like, it's not it's not about what anyone else thinks, it's about doing yes. you. Um, guys, I love that messaging. Before you leave us, of course, you've little a booty at home. How is it like being parents and balancing everything? And what's next for you guys? Okay, you don't sleep, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing, by the way. <laughs> um, it's the best uh, title or job you can ever have, being a mom or a dad. Um, It's it's tire it's not just it's it is tiring. It's yes. tiring. It is tiring. But at yes. the same time, it's so empowering. It's so empowering. Like I still remember the second I held my son in my arms, and I felt this power that I never had before. And there's a saying in Arabic where it says like, um, "With kids come more power." I don't know how to say it properly, but like it's so say true. Say it in Arabic. Sorry, I'm not. Uh. <laughs> My Arabic like sayings are very bad, so I Same. can't. <laughs> She always makes fun of me. But like, it's there's a power that comes with with the soul that that you fall in love with immediately. That you feel you're unbeatable. You can conquer anything. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. It's the most beautiful feeling in the world. That's amazing. Guys, teaching us love and teaching us self-acceptance, the incredible Ali Anwala Henawi. Guys, where can we find you if we want to follow you? What social platforms are you rocking? We're on Instagram, on TikTok, and on YouTube. Yes. And uh, on Instagram, also he has a new page for like finance. Um, oh, yeah. I'm teaching uh, like financial literacy. Oh, wow. That's something we sorely need. Yeah. <laughs> Give a so little shout out exactly what you're doing. Uh, so basically what I do is talking more about money because the second you have, you're, you're in a group and the conversation of money pops up, you feel like everyone is so defensive. And that's wrong. That's very wrong. It's a taboo. Like, why not talk about money? If not now, when? Mm-hmm. If in universities they teach us about more about money, like I, I'm studied business, uh, finance, banking and finance. When I graduated from university, all I knew was how to become an employee. I never understood money. I never understood how to finance money, how to make money work for me and not work for money. Yes. So that's what I'm talking about on my page, I like. how to make money work for you. So solid. Opening conversations and most importantly, keeping it real. Thank Guys, you. it was so cool to meet you. I love you. You are so super genuine and it was so nice guys. to have you on the show. Thank Truly you, mean yeah. that. Thank Guys, so that is it for us on the Love and Dubai show. See you tomorrow Bye. morning. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>